Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to explain symmetry to you guys. So, it's a really, really big lifesaver in ZBrush, and uh, it would make things twice as hard if we didn't have it. So, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So, first thing I'm going to do is go into my tool palette here, Sphere 3D. Let's go ahead and just drag that out. If you don't know how to do any of this, I've explained it all in my basic navigation tutorials in ZBrush. So, just go ahead and check those out if you haven't seen them and you don't know how to work ZBrush. So here we have our Sphere 3D. Now let's go ahead and make Polymesh 3D so that we can edit it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and turn on Symmetry. So there's two ways to do this. You go into Transform and you select Activate Symmetry or you press X. That's the keyboard shortcut. Now this is front view here and you can see now that I have symmetry on the x-axis, x-axis symmetry I have two dots, one on one side, one on the other and that means um, well the other dot is the other manipulative point so whatever you do on one side it will manipulate on the other now to know which side is yours it's just the one with the two rings and I'll explain what that inner ring does in a separate tutorial but um, that's all there is really to it to x-symmetry here um, all there is to it, just like Blender, it just does half the work for you. Now, I just did a lot of stuff there, so I have to Control Z it. And so I don't have to do that. I'm going to store a morph target. And all that does, let me go back into front view, is if I store a morph target, and then after as I mess it up, I press switch, it will go back to the um, target I stored. But, um,. There's a little bit of a, a thing you have to be aware about is that if you keep going and then you switch it again without deleting it, it will go back to that first thing that you switched in the first place. So let me just control Z this. And so when you have the mesh you want, just delete it, the morph target, and then store it again. But um, I'm actually going to delete it so I can go up two subdivision levels here with control D as the, the keyboard shortcut and store a morph target. So that's it for X symmetry. Oh, see, I'm control Zing, but I'm just going to do that if I do too much. Now, one thing to know if you press X to activate the symmetry, it won't uh, activate it for the X symmetry. So, like if you press Y, it won't activate it for the Y symmetry. It only acti activates the symmetry. You have to manually choose the axis. So, X axis, um, it does symmetry on the left and right side. Y axis is front and back side, as you can see here. So, uh, just do some random stuff here. You can see it's on both sides here. So, switch, delete, store. That's it for Y. Um, Z axis is top to bottom. Really simple. If you know anything about animation or algebra, this shouldn't be a real problem. But, okay. Now that we have that, we can go into radial symmetry. Now what radial symmetry does, and it does matter on what axis you have, just be aware of that. Radial symmetry, the way to turn that on, you just press R right here in the transform palette. And it just puts more than one symmetry point on your mesh. So like if I were to draw something out here, there are eight points going along with it, see? Uh, so can make interesting stuff with that but um, it, let's say you want more than eight you can just go over here turn up the radial count I'm gonna turn it up pretty high turn down my draw size and cool you can make um, cool illustrations with this see make um, interesting things with that okay and then um, to show you guys there's Y and when you tr change stuff make sure you um, deselect the one you had previously otherwise yeah you have just a bunch of stuff going on here and that looks very insane doesn't look very neat okay so now here's Y symmetry uh, see it goes from like this and X symmetry obviously well oops see I did the same thing I forgot to turn off the other symmetry so there and um, yeah so that's all you there's to it oh, yeah so I can turn this back up if I want to and just 
make some cool um, cool shapes and stuff my favorite is the uh, radial symmetry and um yeah see like right now would be a it'd be a real pain to just control Z all this so I'm just gonna switch my morph target store and delete it okay so now um I'm turn radial off and just go back to X symmetry so we have normal so turn my draw size up so let's say you're messing with something and you've been working on it for a while and then you all of a sudden forget or you all of a sudden press the X button and you turn off symmetry and you're working and you're working and you're so in the moment that you don't realize that you've just made a half a face and you forgot to do symmetry and you're thinking oh, I have to do the whole thing again but um, the great thing about ZBrush is you don't have to so um, if you guys are not a mask let me show you guys just hold control and you can either paint the mask and what the mask does is that you can't edit that point that's masked it's not it's not edible editable so it sounded like I said edible <laughs> but um that's how you paint a mask on and if you wanna uh, layer it on like like this here you just hold control and click and drag outside of the mesh in the open 3d space but be careful that you don't have an alpha on because if you do it will mask with the alpha so just make sure but you might want to mask with the alpha so I don't know but if you want to clear it you just control and drag in open space but what you want to do here now is you want to go ahead and drag mask over the half that you want um, the symmetry like if I want this half to be plastered over here you can have to mask this half and then we're gonna go over to um, okay sorry my tablet started acting up there go over to deformation and then you want to press smart resim and make sure this little X here is hit so you can do Y and Z as well so just select that and you can see it's analyzing the mesh and because we didn't do too much and because we only have a hundred thousand polys it wasn't that big of a deal but you can see here did a really good job everything's perfectly sim uh, perfectly aligned with itself but um, just be aware that if you're up to like 12,000 polys and you did that then it's gonna take a long time so just be aware of that so just try to keep your X symmetry on okay so that's all you really need to know about symmetry to get started right now so be sure to watch future tutorials on ZBrush and I will be keep making them if you keep watching them okay guys thank you bye